Hello everyone. I hope I'm live. Uh, let me confirm if I'm live. I will start the session ahead. Give me a minute. Yes, I hope I'm live. Am I audible clearly? Kindly someone give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Yes, yes, yes. I guess it's working. Hi Osama. So, can we start? So, I welcome you all for today's session. A very, very good afternoon to all of you. And today I'm here to teach you a very important topic from PSM. The chapter is health and diseases. So today I'm going to teach you the indices, the health and disability indices. So we are going to study the indices, health and disability indices. Many students requested me to take this topic because they find it very confusing, right? So what indices I'm going to discuss today? I am going to discuss basically five or four indices today. So the first I will discuss is the Sullivan index. The second is the daily. The third is the quali and fourth is hail. What are their full forms? What does they mean? How they differ from each other? I will tell you everything. Don't worry. So without wasting any further time, let me start ahead. Give me one minute. Okay. So let me start ahead. So I'm teaching you the first indicator. It is a very small session. Only I am going to teach you the difference between these indices with examples with all the MCQs are based on this. So First, let me teach you the first indice which is known as disability free life expectancy. Disability free life expectancy. It is known as DLFE. Disability free. It is D, D, uh, disability free life expectancy. DFLE. I'm sorry. It is DFLE. So disability free life expectancy. It is also known as Sullivan index. Now the name itself indicates its meaning. Don't learn the definition what I mean. Now imagine today a newborn is born in India. In India. I am talking all the things about India. Right. So in India today a newborn is born today only. So based on current morbidity of India. Morbidity. If we apply the current morbidity uh, on this newborn of India. Morbidity differs from place to place, country to country, reason to reason. That's why I told you that all the indices I will talk about India only. Okay. So if I apply, you know what is the difference between mortality and morbidity? Before starting, let me tell you the difference between mortality and morbidity. Anyone, anyone among the audience, what is the difference between mortality and morbidity? Osama, Exporten, anyone, Ajay, anyone can tell me the difference. What is mortality? Mortality ka kya matlab hota hai? Mortality matlab hota hai death, right? And what is morbidity? Morbidity ka matlab hota hai disease, right? The death and the disease are two different terms. So in PSM, we call the death as mortality. We call the disease as morbidity. Yes, you know this. Say yes. Yes. Okay. So what I am saying, if any newborn is born today in India, imagine in India today, any newborn is born, right? So uh, I'm talking about a country, India, right? So all the countries have their own life expectancy, depending on... Uh, the health services provided in that country, right? So life expectancy, according to that, what is the life expectancy of this newborn in India? What is the life expectancy? So there may be some life expectancy. Now, if the newborn is male, life expectancy is different. If the newborn is female, the life expectancy is different. Life expectancy, expectancy, we are expecting. We don't know the reality. We are expecting the newborn will live for 70 years. The life expectancy is 70 years. But we don't know the reality whether the newborn when he will grow up, she will grow up, he will die at the age of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 or maybe 100, 110. We don't know. We are talking an average expectancy. So that is expectancy. We are not talking about reality. Please understand it. So there should be a life expectancy now. So life expectancy is the total life we are expecting this newborn will live. If the newborn will live in India only, right? That is the life expectancy. It can be nearly 60 to 70 years. Every year it differs. Okay, the current data. Hai. Now I am applying the current morbidity, not mortality. Current morbidity of India on this newborn. Morbidity means, if the, agar Hindi mein kahun, to ye newborn agar 70 years survive karne wala hai, to 70 years mein se ye disease kitne years rahega. Wo hogi iski morbidity. Agar current pattern India ka is newborn pe apply kare, to maybe 5 years, maybe 10 years, that will be diseased. So if I subtract 70 minus 5, that is 65. So that is known as disease, disability free life expectancy. So that life expectancy is disability free. So that contains the quality. You got my point what I am saying. So whatever life we are living, just suppose we live for 70 years. So the 70 years doesn't matter. You got my point. Out of 70 years, how many healthy years you are surviving? 
what are the healthy years healthy years you will get if you subtract the disability years from the life expectancy so how many healthy years you are um, surviving healthy years what are those healthy years so healthy years is equal to life expectancy minus disability years disability years means morbid years disability years is calculated by applying morbidity give me a thumbs up if you got it give me a thumbs up osama you got it export in you got it so after subtraction whatever value is coming now so that is the life spent in healthy years so that is known as disability free life expectancy now read the full form osama others please read the full form it's disability free life expectancy so we are expecting a life which is disability free so that is the full form of disability free life expectancy also known as sullivan index give me a thumbs up everyone and it is an expectancy it is not reality right so can anyone tell me the formula of sullivan index what is the formula it is life expectancy minus minus duration of bad disability bad bad ridden disability or any disease just suppose i am having cough cold uh, for few days few months so should i reduce total life expectancy those days those months so in cough and cold i can perform the major work it is not hindering my major work so i will not consider that as um, you know while subtracting i will take only those disability which is hindering me to perform the major work so only those years will be subtracted from total life expectancy i have given you the example right so this is known as sullivan index you got it you got it shall i come to on the next indicator shall i come on the next give me a thumbs up export in osama i cannot see others name give me a thumbs up shall i move ahead i must i must so coming on the second indicator the second indicator is health adjusted life expectancy hail health adjusted life expectancy now what is what is the meaning how it differs from uh, sullivan index it is also same imagine imagine today a newborn is born in india again the same thing so we are expecting how many years the newborn will live according to current life expectancy of that country so there is life expectancy again we are talking about the life expectancy you got my point uh, so life expectancy jitna bhi hai usme se we are deducing both the mortality plus morbidity i guess you got it so whatever the result we are getting now it is known as hail health adjusted life expectancy how it differs from dfle disease disability free life expectancy usme bhi we take life expectancy but we subtract only morbidity not mortality is see is me nahi bata sakti that is the main difference i guess you got it i guess you got it so here we are taking only morbidity morbidity not mortality here we are taking both mortality and morbidity so how many years of healthy years you are surviving you got my point how many healthy years a newborn will survive this is a newborn born today in india how many healthy years ahead the newborn will survive how you will calculate it either you deduce either you deduce from the total life expectancy you deduce the morbid years morbid matlab diseased year so the remaining life will be healthy so that is known as dfle or sullivan index but from the life expectancy if you are deducing both the morbidity also the mortality now you must ask me a question gajana and osama you must ask me a question ki mai mortality what is mortality you are deducing here mortality is the premature death years how should i explain you i will explain premature death listen i am expecting life expectancy of 70 years that is my life expectancy imagine it is an example right out of this 70 years there is a newborn i am expecting he should survive 70 years but according to current morbidity in india morbidity in india uh, on an average 5 years everyone have some or the other disease so i am expecting i will deduce this 5 years as morbidity right by mortality i mean the premature death what is the chances that this newborn will die prematurely how many chances are there what is the chances premature death ke kitne chances in india mein today a newborn is born so what is the probability this newborn will die prematurely so how many years so maybe just suppose it is also 5 years so you if you want to calculate listen now if i if i ask you to calculate disease free life expectancy that is sullivan index so you will deduce 70 minus this 5 
only morbidity so answer is 65 but if i ask you to calculate hail that is health adjusted life expectancy so you will deduce 70 minus 5 plus 5 both so you are taking morbidity as well as premature death mortality in consideration so answer will be 60 here here the answer is 65 give me a thumbs up those who got it give me a thumbs up you got it so gaurav how to calculate mortality in years that is my answer gaurav uh, I guess you got the answer or shall I repeat it? I am saying mortality to be calculated in years by the probability of premature death in your country. That is the premature death. How many, uh, what is the probability that newborn will die prematurely and by how many years? So it differs from country to country. Maybe in India, I don't know in India, it may be 5 years, 10 years. So there, there is the premature death ka kitna years. Hai. So kitna years. So I am expecting the Newborn will die at 70 years. But no, the newborn is dying only at 65 years. So premature death is there. So how many years? 5 years he is losing in premature death. And the 65 may say be 5 years he was deceased. So imagine, imagine. This is the birth of a newborn. Okay? I am expecting the newborn survive till 70. This is my expectation, not reality. Expectation. You got my point? Now, uh, applying the current morbidity in the entire life, the, this child will have 5 years of disease. It, it, it is not necessary it in one slot. It can be multiple slots, 1 year, half year, 2 year, like that. We compile all together, right? And there is probability that 5 years this child die prematurely also. There is probability. So, if you want to calculate DFLE, what is the answer? And if you want to calculate HAIL, what is the answer? DFLE also known as Sullivan Index. I guess everyone got it. Yes, say yes. This is very confusing topic. I am trying to super simplify it. Say yes. You got it, Gaurav? Give me a thumbs up if you got it. So if you, in both of them, the formula is life expectancy minus. Minus. But minus what? So if you are talking of Sullivan Index, subtract only morbidity. That is 5 years. Morbidity. But for Hale, you have to subtract both mortality and mortality. So answers will be different. Both are, the meaning of both of them is the healthy years of life. Healthy years of life. So for calculating healthy years, you are considering only mortality or mortality plus morbidity both. So that is the thing, I guess. You got it. So that, the two of the indicators are done. Coming on the third indicator. Coming on the third indicator. So what was health? To understand the third indicator, you tell me the definition of health. Osama, can you tell me the de definition of health? Just now I taught you what minus what. What minus what? You have to subtract two things, na? Yes, that is morbidity, major disability, right? And mortality is years lost in premature death. Am I right? Am I right? If I am right, give me a thumbs up. So addition of both of these, whatever I am subtracting, that is 5 plus 5, the 10 is known as daily, is known as that 10, 5 plus 5 is 10. You got my point? So years of lost life due to premature death, and years of lost life due to disability. The addition of the both. How many years are lost totally from the life expectancy? That is disability adjusted life years. Daily. That is daily. You got my point? So this was also 5 in my example. This was also 5 in my example. So total 10 will be the daily here. Give me a thumbs up. Read the full form. You will get the meaning. Read the full form. It's disability adjusted life years. So I'm considering both mortality and morbidity. You got my point. These two things I am not subtracting from life, life expectancy. I am taking these two years in consideration. How many years are actually lost? So years can be lost in disease. Year can be lost in death. The summation of both of them is known as daily. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, Gajanan. Yes, Osama. Absolutely right. So in the hail, in the formula of hail, you have written. You take only this portion. Whatever you are subtracting from life expectancy now is your daily. So basically, I can say, I can say, Hail is equal to life expectancy minus daily. Am I right? If I am right, give me a thumbs up. Come on. I cannot simplify more than this. Come on. So what is hail? You got my point. So it's life expectancy minus two things. Minus two things. So basically daily is two things. The years lost in morbidity and the years lost in mortality. Morbidity and mortality. You got my point. So the years lost in premature death and the years lost in disability. Yes. Say yes. Yes. So it is known as YLL. Years lost in life. That is premature death. And years lost in disability. So YLL plus YLD. That is known as daily. Yes. You got it. What is daily? Yes. So it, it takes consideration both. The mortality and disability. Mortality and morbidity together. So actually one daily is equal to one year. 
one daily if i am saying here total 10 na so 10 years are lost the five are lost in disease and the remaining five are lost in premature death so the answer is 10 one daily is equal to one year 10 daily is equal to 10 year and it is the best indicator of burden of disease in a population it is a mcq the best indicator of burden of disease in a population is daily right so you got it what is daily and the last one the last one the quali the last one the fourth one quali what is the full form of quali first tell me the full form q a l y what is quali it is quality adjusted life years now listen listen uh, imagine this is the newborn born today this is the birth today right and birth today we are expecting the newborn is surviving till 70 years this is expectation this is life expectancy not reality right but unfortunately this newborn is having some disease here some major disease here and he is about to die he is about to die but he has taken the consultation of doctors some medical advice some medical treatment and because of the treatment his life is extended for the again next um, few years say next three years by treatment we are extending the life till three years so we have added three years more but on the cost of money right the person is paying money the person is investing money for the treatment for medicines for surgery doctors hospital whatever so on the cost of this we have tried to extend few more years so these three years we are adding quality to the life so it is known as quality adjusted life years quality so here the answer of quality will be three so how many we can we can stretch it ahead by giving some treatment give me a thumbs up if you got it what is quality everyone give me a thumbs up everyone say yes so this is known as quality so quality is quality is the number of years of life that would be added by some intervention by intervention i mean some medical treatment it can be medical treatment it can be surgical treatment by some intervention you are adding so it assess the value of money you know value of money in the life you got my point if someone is very rich he may take the treatment and extend few years ahead if someone is poor cannot afford the treatment so the person will die at that point only so these are the years which are added to someone's life on the cost of the money you can say give me thumbs up so that is known as quality so i guess you got the meaning of all four what is what is sullivan index or dfle what is hale what is daily what is quality say yes First, I will help you in revising all four one by one, the definition, and then we will take one numerical example, and you will tell me the answers of each of them. Say yes. So these are the four confusing, the most confusing area in PSM, I guess. Right? Okay. So first, let's talk about DFLE, disability free life expectancy, also known as Sullivan index. The second is health adjusted life expectancy. See, this is also life expectancy. This is also life expectancy. You got my point. The next is daily. That is disability adjusted life years. And this is quality. Quality adjusted life years. So you have to tell me the definition or formula of each of them. If you got it. Give me a thumbs up. You got it. Can you help me? Sono, Exporten, Osama, Hakim, any one of you. Any one of you. Yes. Can you help me? So tell me the full form. What is DFLE? It's disability free life expectancy. The name itself indicate. So here take life expectancy and subtract the disability. Then it will become disability free life expectancy. So subtract the disability from the life. From the life expectancy. So you subtract only disability. By disability I mean only morbidity. So you are reducing the years which are lost in disability. You are reducing only YLD. So either say morbidity or you say disability or you say YLD, years lost in disability, one and the same thing. So basically from the life expectancy, you are reducing the bedridden. Yes, of course, Osama, the bedridden disability. Uh, the disability should be such that you are unable to perform major function. If minor function, hai toh, I will not take that in consideration. So basically we are taking in consideration only of morbidity. So what is remaining? What is left? If you are subtracting this thing from the life expectancy, so whatever the answer will come after subtraction, those years will be healthy years. I'm assuming that those years are healthy years. You got my point. You have already reduced the morbidity. You have already reduced the disability, the life, the years which are lost in disability. Now remaining life is healthy. You know, healthy life is important. 
टोटल लाइफ इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट है ना सुना है ना डायलॉग राजेश खन्ना को सबको पता है जिंदगी लंबी नहीं बड़ी होना चाहिए दैट इज द मीनिंग सो ही वॉज नोइंग एट दैट टाइम द मीनिंग ऑफ डी एफ एल ई एंड हेल तो डी एफ एल ई एंड हेल दोनों का दैट इज द सेम डायलॉग लंबी नहीं बड़ी इट शुड बी हेल्दी इट शुड नॉट बी लॉन्ग सो इफ यू आर सर्वाइविंग फॉर इफ समन इज सर्वाइविंग फॉर सेवेंटी एटी नाइनटी ईयर्स बट मोस्ट ऑफ द ईयर्स आर डिसेबल्ड इट इज ऑफ नो यूज इट शुड बी हेल्दी इफ इट इज हेल्दी देन ओनली क्वालिटी इज देयर सो दैट इज द मीनिंग बिहाइंड ऑल दिस एनी वेज कमिंग ऑन द सेकेंड डेफिनेशन कैन यू टेल मी द सेकेंड डेफिनेशन यस वॉट इज हेल कैन यू टेल मी द फुल फॉर्म फर्स्ट इट्स हेल्थ एडजस्टेड अगेन लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी अगेन इट इज लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी अगेन इट इज हेल्थ एडजस्टेड so again i will subtract something from the life expectancy what i will subtract here i will subtract two things not one thing i will subtract the addition of the two things what two things i will take morbidity as well as mortality both in consideration so basically i will subtract the years lost in disability and the years of life lost due to premature death so if i add both and after adding see the see the bracket after adding them i will subtract them from the life expectancy so whatever the remaining answer is coming after subtraction that is known as hail now see the difference in both of them we are taking life expectant expectancy and subtracting something here we are subtracting only morbidity here we are subtracting morbidity as well as mortality that's it it is as simple as that if you got it once now you will never forget what is daily what is daily this thing is daily uh this one this one what you are subtracting here now that is two years years lost in disability yld and years of life which are lost in premature death yll the summation of the two is known as daily give me a thumbs up say yes this is known as daily and the last one is quali quali means how many years you are adding in someone's life by doing some intervention by doing some intervention give me a thumbs up come on chalo you got it so that is the four definition now we will take one example can i take one example will you tell me the answer imagine a newborn is there and the newborn is born today right and the life the born in some country in that country the life expectancy is say 70 years the life expectancy is 70 years i'm giving you a numerical right now out of the total this is expectancy right now if we apply uh, the morbidity of that country on that child again it is expectancy i am expecting that nearly 4 years will be lost in morbidity right in that country the chances of premature death uh is if applied on that uh, particular child so there are chances that maybe you may say 3 years are lost in premature death for example it is these are all rough values right so and the person is affording some medical intervention so by giving the medical intervention we have extended the life of person by 7 years we have extended life year of the person by 7 years by giving medical extension now you have to give me four answers again the four indices can anyone tell me the four answers first tell me dfle what is sullivan index then tell me uh, hale what is hale here then tell me what is daily here in this example and tell me quali the four questions the four answers one by one you will help me in solving it who will help me so gajanand is saying it's 66 gorav is 66 exporten osama you all are saying 66 for dfle i guess what about others are sleeping everyone please answer yes so dfle the formula is life expectancy minus morbidity so you do 70 minus 4 of course it's 66 so you all are right dfle or sullivan index is 66 in this particular scenario right what is hail what you people are saying everyone is saying hail is um, 63 gajanan exporten is it 60 or uh, 63 so what is hail its life expectancy minus two things the years lost in disability plus the years lost in of life the premature death so add 4 plus 3 the 7 so 70 minus 7 70 minus 7 absolutely writes as 63 yes yes it's 63 very good very good all of you what is daily daily what is the formula the two things the years lost in disability plus years the years which are lost due to premature death so again it's 7 4 plus 3 its answer is 7 right and what is quali the quali you are extending the life for next 7 years so it's 7 so there are four answers 66 63 77 so anything can happen like any by example now it will not come as a numerical in your exam you don't have to solve it of course 
the example is just to fit in your mind what is the meaning and these all are expectations it is not reality these all are expectations we are expecting all these things that country to country these are the indicators of disability or uh, these are the indicators of health which varies from country to country that i mean give me a thumbs up you got it so these are the four health indices we learned today we will solve some mcqs on that and you will give me the answer can you tell me the answer export in can you tell me the answer expectation of life which is free of disability what it is known as it is expectation of life which is free of only disability i am taking only morbidity in consideration not mortality what is it so gajanand is saying c what about others yes yes of course the answer is c it's sullivan index so not park index myth index life index yes it's sullivan index so answer is c yes very good so the next question in front of you which of the following is best index for burden of disease and effective of inter effectiveness of intervention the best indicator which indicate the burden of disease is it case fatality rate is it disability adjusted life years is it dependency ratio or morbidity data what is it yes it's disability adjusted life years you got my point that is daily daily will give you the burden of disease and if if that the effectiveness of intervention that many years you can extend ahead by giving intervention so the answer is b you all are right very good what is sullivan index it indicates what see the four options it's very easy is it free life a uh, life free of disability or is it hookworm uh, x per gram of stool is it standard of living is it pregnancy rate per 100 women year of course the question is very easy but once you read the complete psm you will get confused these all are your pyqs of various exams already asked in various exams so that is the thing which of the following is true about daily first see what is daily what is the definition of daily is it life adjusted for disease is it premature death adjusted for disability is it life expectancy free of disability or is it years lost due to premature death and years lost with disability both of them so what is it what is it so export in gajanan osama everyone is saying d yes it is the summation of two thing one daily one daily is equal to one year that is summation of two things that is years lost in disability plus years of life lost due to premature death the summation of the two you all are right yes amarnath yes gorav the answer is d absolutely right the answer is d so daily measures what do you think what it measures morbidity and mortality or uh, now think it properly ha huh? please don't don't rush don't rush is it morbidity and disability or is it mortality and disability what do you say now let me see what you people are saying kon kya bolta hai dekhe yes what you people are saying let me know uh, my live why you are not giving so gitanjali is saying b amar is saying b export is saying a osama is saying b so what is the correct answer a or b the answer is c come on a or b mein kya fight tha yes a or b mein fight nahi tha listen what is daily daily is the summation of two things years lost in disability plus years of life lost due to premature death so premature death indicates of course mortality death matlab mortality right disability means morbidity but better morbidity ki jagah aap disability hi likho because morbidity mein na sari illness aati hai minor plus major lekin yahan pe mujhe sirf major lena hai so i will use the word disability is a better term so i will go with answer c agar c nahi hota to second best answer will be a second best answer will be a so mortality and morbidity but instead of morbidity i want to say disability mortality is same give me a thumbs up if you got what was the clinch in the question it's not b the answer is c gorav you got it why you got it why morbidity and disability to ek hi cheez hoti hai na why you are saying answer as b answer is not b morbidity and disability is one and the same thing morbidity hi to disability hai you have to take two things in consideration come on one mortality one morbidity Give me a thumbs up if you got it. What was the clinch in the question? Many students this question wrong in the exam. That's why I'm explaining you. I also say while explaining you, it's mortality but morbidity, mortality and morbidity. Give me one minute. Uh, some my power cut off is there. Let me switch off the sound. I'm unable to do so. Is this? is the sound bothering you is the sound bothering you otherwise i will continue right anyways i will continue 
so okay the next question is in front of you the next question in front of you can you answer it so disability adjusted life years daily what is the definition it is the same question what is daily so yes answer is d years of life life loss due to two reasons number one premature death and number two disability the summation of the both so yes yes so that was the first concept we have learned today we will learn one more concept today one more concept the concept of disease impairment disability and handicap all four things are different you have to understand the definition of all four they are not synonyms they are not synonyms please understand there is a difference between disease there is a difference between disease impairment disability and handicap the these things are different right so let me start let me start one by one right just a second okay listen what is disease let me take an example let me take so disease is any abnormal condition of the organism that impairs some function so you are having some disease so if any function in you is impaired that is 